Octopass, an easy web scraper for anyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Octopass channel. In the previous session, we learned how to scrape information from a product listing page, like the first two pages product names and URLs of the eBay phone category. Today, we will explore a bit deeper, take a closer look at how to scrape richer details from the product detail page. Let's hop on board and dive into this together. To begin, let's take a moment to explain what we mean by a product listing page and a product detail page. The product listings page is a page that neatly gathers a collection of items under the same category, presenting just enough information to help us compare them at a glance. As you can see on the screen, this is a typical product listings page. Each product is introduced in a concise format, usually with its name, an image, the price, and sometimes a brief description or condition. In other words, it serves as a showcase or catalog, allowing us to quickly browse through many options without having to dive into each product individually. When a particular item stands out to you, you might click on it for a closer look. That action brings you to the product detail page, where the information broadens and deepens far beyond what the listing page can show. Here, you'll uncover complete descriptions, precise specifications, available options, and the invaluable insights from customer reviews. In our last session, we explored how Octoparse intelligently identifies the same type of data across all product listings on a page. Even better, it can navigate into each product's URL to extract more detailed information beyond the listing itself. Here are the detailed steps. First, paste your needed URL in the main search bar and hit Start. Then you will find yourself navigating to a page displaying a full list of office chair details on eBay. Let's say we want to collect information such as product name, price, seller, condition, and brand on each detail page. The first thing we need to do is simply click on the first item's name, which will then be outlined in green. At the same time, you'll see that Octoparse highlights the rest of the same type of information in red. Click select all similar elements or straightforwardly hit the second similar element to cover them all. Subsequently, you can observe that the data preview pane has pre-selected this data field. Then, click loop click each element to open the subpage in each product listing. Following this step, you can set up the pagination according to the tips pane. Click yes and select next page button to locate the cursor to the actual next page position. Then hit confirm. As shown, the workflow designer has automatically generated the corresponding steps, drawing a pagination step that contains a loop step of clicking 60 loop elements. As we need to scrape information from the first three pages, we need to simply click the pagination step and change the repeat time to three. Then, click the action of Click Item to act. By doing this, the browser proceeds, entering the subpage of each loop item, which enables the extraction of data from the product details page. Based on our scraping mission, we can gradually scrape the data field down. Firstly, click the product title and extract data in the text format. Then, just repeat the same process for the seller, price, and condition details. Lastly, scroll down the page to find the brand field, click it, and extract it in the text format. You'll also notice many other details here as well, which you can include in your scraping if needed. Then, you will see clearly that the data preview pane has covered all our commands, just double-click it to rename the data field. You might also notice the drag handles on the left side of the header, just drag columns around to organize your data exactly how you like. After this step, it's time to review the workflow designer. You'll notice that it has automatically generated an extract data step right after the pagination step. While automation gets it right most of the time, a manual check is sometimes necessary, especially if we've clicked and made specific adjustments in earlier steps, since the automated step generally follows the last modification and may not always end up in its intended position. According to our scraping logic, which is built around clicking through each detail page to capture data fields, we need to move the extract data to the right position right following the loop click each product listing step. Moreover, we also need to set a wait before action time to 3 seconds. Let's take a moment to understand what it is. You may notice that every time a subpage loads, there's an inevitable waiting period while all elements finish rendering. In Octoparse, wait before execution pauses a step for a set amount of time before it runs. This ensures that the target data on a web page has fully loaded before the extraction begins. Users can adjust the wait time based on the needs of each step. If you skip this wait, the workflow might try to extract data before the page has fully loaded, resulting in incomplete or incorrect information. Therefore, in order to accurately collect data from the detail pages, 
we need to set a wait time of 3 seconds in this extraction step. After everything is checked, simply click save and choose to run it on your device. As you can see, the data execution pane is already running, displaying the progress in real time. When it is done, you can export the data file in many formats. Lastly, here's what your final data set results look like, including information on name, price, seller, condition, and brand. That's it. That's the full tutorial on how to extract data from the product details page step by step. Based on the same principle, you are free to customize your own task to scrape any subpage's details from the web. In the previous tutorial, we specifically learned the setting of a pagination step, which helps us keep scraping continuous pages in a certain repeating number, and then we can capture the product listing's basic info from the listing page. In this tutorial, we further dive into the subpage of each product listing by loop clicking each element. Just within countable clicks, we have captured lines of data that would otherwise require significant time and effort. You may find that, with the help of the pagination setting and loop setting, we can straightforwardly scrape numerous details at the same time. In the next tutorial, we will dive into these two features, introducing the diverse pagination types and loop options in Octoparse according to different browsing environments. Jump in and follow on.